Hey everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. As you can see, I am currently in a car parking lot because I am going to Waterstones and I thought I would take you along with me. So this is just a come shopping with me and then I will show you what I haul afterwards. But yeah, hopefully I have the guts to talk to you while I'm in Waterstones, but if not, I'll speak to you in a minute. <laughs> So I'm now back from Waterstones. No, I didn't have the guts to actually talk to you while I was in there, but I did film some footage of me perusing the shelves. So I do hope that you enjoyed that. I had a gift card given to me that was like a love to shop gift voucher where you can spend it in any shop. Um, but my mum's husband gets one for Christmas. He had 20 pounds on this gift card. And you can spend them in Waterstones and he's been giving them to me for the last two years. So thank you, Melbourne. <laughs> and the two books that I got out of that voucher was volume two of Hannah Cocoon. So this, um, I have volumes one, volume 16, 17 and 18, because I started to get them as they was coming out. But obviously I need to build up the ones that I haven't got yet. I think once I get a few into these, I will then start reading them. But what I've heard about these, I think I'm really going to enjoy them. So I picked that up. It is on my Amazon wish list as well. So I had to try and get stuff that was on my wish list already instead of just picking up extra books. I wanted to pick up books that I knew that I wanted. And then the other book that I brought out of that voucher was the unfortunate side effects of heartbreak and magic so i did pre-order this with waterstones but for some reason waterstones cancelled my order i don't know if they had a stock issue or something i can't remember it was quite a while ago now but they had it in today so i picked it up and this one says rivlers witches are cursed uh, sadie rivler uh, as long as she uses her magic is doomed to four heartbreaks so far she's experienced three the devastating departures of her mother and her brother and the biggest heartbreak of all jake mcneely her first love since then sadie has done everything she can to protect herself from more pain but now sadie's grandmother is sick with only weeks to live and without her sadie isn't sure she'll have the strength to keep the family and her magic together as sadie's carefully constructed life begins to unravel jake returns to town after a decade away and in the face of a final heartbreak that could tear sadie apart she must decide once and for all is love more important than magic and i just thought it sounded really great when i read the synopsis a while ago and i can't resist a witchy read so i picked that one up also so again thank you melvin for that <laughs> The other books that I picked up was out of my Waterstones points. So all of my books today were free. So I got a poetry collection. I have already got a poetry collection from this author, but I wanted another one. So it's I Hope You Stay by Courtney Pepinell. I 
I just really wanted another collection by them and you guys know I love my poetry so I'm really looking forward to getting into this one and as always when I go to Waterstones I generally pick up a poetry collection so this is the one that I chose this time. <laughs> the next book that I got is a follow-on to a book that I have not read yet. <laughs> so we all have those books but it is one that is on my Amazon wish list, so I've now took it off but it is Puckin' Wild. So this is the follow-on to Puckin' Around. These are hockey romances, smutty hockey romances. So I thought I would get the follow-on. These are quite chunky, but I've heard good things. So yeah, I got the follow-on because it was in stock and it's on my Amazon wish list. So I was like, just, just get it. And then the next three, I did have one of these on my Amazon wish list um, and they're all by the same author. And the more that I look into this author's works, the more I want to read. So I was in on the intention of just buying one, but I ended up buying three and I'm not mad about it. And the author is Hubert Selby Jr. And his books are known to be grotesque and very hard to read and gruesome, but it's just some classics that I know I'm going to really enjoy the uncomfortableness of them. Do you get what I mean? When you know you're going into a book, it's a bit like American Psycho. You know you're going to go into it and it is going to be an uncomfortable read with the descriptions of what happens in the book. But it's so well written that it's a great book, if that makes sense. But it does to me. So the first one that I got is his first works, which is Last Exit to Brooklyn. And this is about... Few novels have caused as much controversy as Herbert Selby Jr.'s notorious masterpiece. Described by various reviewers as hellish and obscene, it tells the stories of New Yorkers who at every turn confront their worst excesses in human nature, yet there are moments of exquisite tenderness in these troubled lives. Georgette, the transvestite who falls in love with a callous hoodlum, Trala, the convincing prostitute who plummets the depths of sexual degradation, and Harry, the strike leader who hides his true desires behind a boorish masculinity, are unforgettable creations. Last Exit to Brooklyn was banned by British courts in 1967, a decision that was reversed the following year with the help of a number of writers, including Anthony Burgess. So, yeah. I'm expecting a really gritty band of people living in New York and I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it but I wanted to get this one because it was banned and I really like reading banned books to see why they were banned and how times have changed and if it would be as shocking now as it is as it was back then so yeah that was the first one and then the second book is the room this one is the one that i had on my amazon wish list and this one says it is quite an experience to be locked up all by yourself in any size room says the anonymous narrator of hubert selby jr's second novel what follows is a startling series of recollections and fantasies that illuminate the workings of a prisoner's unhinged mind. He yearns for his violent childhood, rages against obscure authorities and imagines enacting horrible revenge on those who imprisoned him. The prisoner's romance cell becomes the scene of a surreal mental torture. Disorienting, nightmarish and structurally innovative, the Room, Selby Jr.'s sequel to The Last Exit in Brooklyn is a shocking examination of the suffering humans can inflict on each other. So there was that one. So I did. I have heard a lot about this, that it gets extremely graphic and uncomfortable to read. But it's a really, really great book. So that's what I'm aiming for, to feel uncomfortable whilst reading these. But in the best way, if that make does that make sense? You know what I mean. The last book that I got was The Demon. 
and this one says Harry White is a man other men want to be admired by his peers talented rich and desired by countless women his steady rise to a position of unpredicted influence in a New York investment firm seems inevitable to those who know him and on the way he acquires a beautiful wife and children but with every achievement the desire to destroy what is his grows stronger a demon within drives him to sexual excess petty crime and eventually murder the demon explores the dark side of a man's ambitions and with unflinching determination harry white's story is a gripping 20th century tragedy so yeah this one I hadn't heard of before I saw it today, but I thought, you know, I was getting two, I might as well get three. <laughs> so that, including these, is everything that I picked up today. I'm really happy with my purchases. I can't wait to get stuck in. I think these will be really great going into the spooky season, autumn, and just really disturbing stories to get into i'm looking forward to these i am really really intrigued by hubert selby jr's writing so i can't wait i can't wait and even my husband says that they sound like books that he would want to read so i might get him reading <laughs> which is a bonus but yeah i i had a really really great day I also wanted to mention my current read while I why I had you here. My current read is Jurassic Park and I am loving this. So I started this yesterday tea time and I ha only have this much left of it to read. And I am obsessed with this book. If you don't like books where it's like more science talk or like paleontology and stuff like that you you probably won't like this but i am loving it i love the fact that let me find it i love the fact that when it's telling the story and it will say look on the computer the dna shows blah 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 blah, blah it actually shows you what would be on the screen what the person would be looking at so it doesn't just tell you it actually shows you i really enjoy that about this and the illustrated pages in this book are just beautiful. I mean, look. <laughs> so beautiful. I am... Um, the way it's written, the, the context of it, the actual storytelling i am just loving it i haven't even finished it i think it was like 30 pages into it i went down to my husband and was like thank you so much for buying me this book i am obsessed and i already know it's going to be a five star read and i still stand by that i am now a hundred and uh, 242 pages in and it's still reading as a five star read so i really need to get onto the folio society website and get the second one in these editions because i need to get it so bad and i'm just loving it i just thought i'd tell you that i am actually really loving the book of jurassic park and it gives you so much more in-depth details and everything than the movie and i I adore the movie that's why I went into the book thinking I will enjoy it I didn't realize how much I was going to be obsessed and love it so yeah that's my little update random tangent on the book that I'm currently reading and that I'm obsessed with but I really hope that you enjoyed this little come shopping with me to Wardstones it was just a little video I thought I was going I thought I would bring you along I hope that you enjoyed it it was just a little haul afterwards and I just wanted a relaxing day at Waterstones and to share it with you guys. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. It is Hubert Selby Jr. And the last one, uh, the, 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 the last one, because the title's last. The author is Hubert, Hubert, described by various reviews. 
is the room and this one says it's a later of Herbert Selby Jr's Hubert mm. says the anonymous narrator of Herbert not Herbert Hubert Ugh. I'm really looking forward to it that's why I picked them up duh now I get to put them all away the only thing is where am I gonna put them <laughs> every time every time 